Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. So you know how we always unbox everything on Friday's live show? Well, somehow things disappear and I finally figured out where they went. Over to John's desk, come on. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Netflix. John P. All right, guys, I told you he always steals stuff. I've noticed that you have a ton of crap on your desk all the time, and I finally figured out what it is. You're stealing all our gadgets. I don't steal stuff. I am testing things. I'm like the official product tester of Geek Beat. Well, hey, I um, call dibs and it ends up on your dibs. Yeah. I know, because you never do any damn reviews. You know, we all test stuff too, but we don't tend to do it all at once. Like with, how, how do you multitask so much? The thing is, I think if you just, you, Look, if you just test one product at a time, you don't know how it relates to everything else in your life. So I've got to get it all going simultaneously. All right, well. And then we know how it interacts. I want to know what is on your desk so that I can steal. Are I'm, you sure? I'm thinking I want to steal those. Because there's a lot of stuff on here. All right, let's take it from the top. Technically, those speakers are actually yours, but... I know. See, at CES, I got them, and they were mine. Somehow, they wound up on John's desk. I don't know how this happens. That's because I'm doing a review on them. Uh-huh. I could do the review on them, Because the ones he has at his house are not good enough <laughs> right. for doing the review. The, those the I already speakers. did a review oh, on. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> These are the white ones. <laughs> These are the white ones. <laughs> Which one are we talking about? <laughs> These, actually, the Kef... Um, 300 X. No, or it's AWs. AWs. For, and w stands for wireless. Yeah, not white. <laughs> well, maybe both. <laughs> you want to talk about those first? Well, yeah, why not? Okay, since we're so these caps, these are amazing. They're a thousand bucks a pair. So you're going to be like, holy thousand dollars for speakers for my desk. Yeah, they're awesome. Wow, That's why. You like an animated character in a Disney movie right there. Oh, did I? Well, anyway, they're awesome because they A, they sound amazing. Mm -hmm. They each have their own discrete power amplifiers. And the image, the imaging is unbelievable. When you turn these things on. It sounds like everything is just coming right from the middle, from your, from your monitor. That's it's right. Impressive. It's crazy. And but they do DLNA. They do. And airplay. That's right. Which is awesome. In fact, I learned that the hard way the other day when Pablo was playing a joke on me and he like <laughs> connected to the speakers with Bluetooth right. and started blasting me with music. And, and I was trying to watch a video over there at my desk and, and, and by he the way, totally screwed us up. These things are powerful and loud and I could not stop them. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like getting mute and volume down. I could not. I was like, where is this coming from? So and you it can was, prank and, people. And, and Pablo was standing out there laughing. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. It was quite funny. Anyway. All right. So then we, where, what happened to the, did I? Dave knocked it off the table. Dave. <laughs> That's my. I was like, where did it go? These things keep disappearing. That is my brand new Cobra Drive HD dash cam. This I, is actually pretty impressive looking. I bought that when I was going uh, to Las Vegas. And we had it mounted up in the window to take 1080p video of the drive, which yeah. we've actually captured, and it's really good, but I haven't used you it haven't yet. You haven't released it? But uh, we'll do oh, a review this. on this. For 99 bucks, this thing is fantastic. If you just want to take video of the road, it works. Full There's 1080p, it's, it, it works well. But what's also cool is it has GPS kind of stuff, and it's got like... Actually, this one doesn't have GPS. This has a G sensor. What are you doing? I'm it is looking a, at you through the camera. G four sensor. And what'll happen is if you can manually record video, or if there's some kind of an accident, it's always buffering the video. Yeah. And so if there if it detects a G force um, event, it'll actually it saves that it saves stuff. it. So you could maybe capture the accident. Nice. Yeah. Take for that for insurance court. purposes, or if it was your fault, <laughs> maybe discard it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the tilt. Oh, these are these are awesome. Um, We've got NFC tags. NFC tags, tilt tags, and the Samsung tactiles. So uh, these will actually allow you. Well, I know because I played with these before. If you have any NFC mm -hmm. read a, reading readable device, whatever any device that reads NFC, you can stick these little tags anywhere. So, like, you could put one in your car, mm -hmm. and then you could, when you're getting in your car, tap your phone to the tag, and it would let's automatically say automatically load like 
you know, Pandora or, yeah, or something. Yeah, or, you know, connect to your Bluetooth mm -hmm. in your car. Maybe you carry Bluetooth head earphone with you, but when you're, you're in your car, you really want it to connect to the car, right. so you could tap that, it connects to the car. Yep. Or whatever. When you come home, you could lay your stuff down on a, ta on a tech tile or a, or a tilt mm -hmm. tag, and it would change to some profile. Those well, are my pocket knives. I know knives. you always have knives with you, but um, what... Okay, so here's what, the thing. One of our corrosion viewers... Corrosion resistance, edge retention... Wow, you are doing some hardcore stuff with okay, those knives. Okay, here's the thing, okay? You guys know I'm always whipping out my knives and stuff. And so some people have asked me to, like, do a little... To, 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 to tell you <laughs> what my pocket carry knives are. So we're going to do a little... This is just for our Patreon uh, followers yep. because one of our patrons asked me to do a show about my pocket knives and why I carry those particular ones. So I'm going to do that. That's that's a different project. That's for you patrons only. That's Thank right. you, patrons. Okay, this is interesting. This is the little Acer. Uh, what is this? The C720 uh, Chromebook. Now, I use this Chromebook. Somehow you, you wound up with all the Chromebooks. Oh No, I didn't. Um, uh, Pablo took oh. the other one. I used this all day yesterday. This yes, was the only computer I, I used that. yesterday. And it worked perfectly. You got nothing well, Chromebooks. Done. No, I got, I, it was like, because well, yesterday. Chromebooks are great. I mean, they. It, the battery lasted all yeah. day long and it still had extra. But all I was doing was emails mm -hmm. and web surfy kind of stuff. And, and if that's all you are doing, then they're fantastic because they last forever and. They're, they're, nothing's loading them down. And I have my little mouse plugged into it, so I didn't even have to use a trackpad, and I'm just like cut and paste and click and copy and everything. It's awesome. You love that mouse, actually. $200 for these Chromebooks. This is the best Chromebook I've ever used. If you're looking for a Chromebook, for 200 bucks, get your Acer C720 <laughs> and be done with it. Even buy one of these just to have at your house so you can use it for certain things, but then when you have guests come over, say, here, this is yours to use while you're at the house. Sure. It's worth it. Yes, I love this mouse. Don't anybody Why? make fun of my mouse. This is my cheap little rock soul magic mouse. It's like 10 bucks, isn't it? 10 bucks on Amazon. 10 bucks. It's it got great. two buttons and a wheel, and I love it. I do not use that. I have two of them. I have one here and one over here. I'm I a trackpad only girl. Well, I have a trackpad if you want to talk trackpads, okay? So we've also got the MacBook Air here, which is connected to this. But the, I've got the normal Mac uh, keyboard yeah. and, and trackpad. But notice they're in this cool little case thing from Meshway. Meshway. This little thing is $29.99. And so what happens is it's just a little plastic thing yeah. and you take, you just slot you them take both these in, things right? and you just slap it in there and it's so awesome. That is pretty I've awesome. been using this for years yeah. and I will not get rid of it. There are several on the market and I think you've tried a few of I them. I tried all and of them. This one is That's the best. The one. 30 bucks. Get it and forget it. <laughs> Over there, we have the. Is that QNAP actually attached to the KEFs, to your computer? No, actually, to the but, network. But the KEFs are connected to the network because they they can independently do the airplay and all that junk. But this is connected to the network too. This is Ken's side. This is Ken's That's wreck bad. over here. He's got his lunch over there. It's just He's a wreck. Got... Look at this. Good. <laughs> Look at this. He's Good an Lord. engineer. What do you expect? Yeah, an engineer. What do you want? This is actually an older QNAP, but we've been using it for testing and stuff because we're playing with yeah. the the uh, QNAP OS. And believe it or not, I don't know if you knew this. Well, it says this clean, but all, it was quite dusty there. It's dusty. This little. But I don't know if you knew. You can take little portable drives and plug them in yeah. via USB to this thing. And then you and it, have it, it all together. does all the same stuff awesome. on those, which is cool. Okay, over I'm here. I'm surprised you even have pens and pencils over there. Well, that's mainly because other I people come them. and grab them. You and Ken <laughs> and everybody grabs them. But we also have my WTF stamp. Why the face? Yes, why the face. Everybody needs one of these. There you go. And uh, moving on. These are like 10 bucks on Amazon, folks. You should get one of these and stamp everything with it. <laughs> uh, we have the little Samson. Those things Meteor are Mike. awesome. Meteor Mike. You know Medi what? You know what? I thought these were much more expensive. You can get this for 50 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, that's me. I love these things. I have one of okay. them myself. And what's so cool about them is they're so portable. They have they the just pouch. Fold right up. They go in the pouch. 
protect it. It's all shiny still when you pull it out. I think they should uh, and they call sound it, great. I think they should call it the bullet mic because bullet it mic. looks like a little bullet or, or like a rocket. I love or that something. thing. But anyway, the meteor mic. And it does sound good. And yep. we've been using it here for some Skype conference calls. And uh, I'm going to do some, some separate audio recording on it just to check it out. Yep. I got this generic Samsung monitor here. There's nothing to talk about. It's just okay. an old crappy just a SA350. It's not crappy. It's actually good. It's, it's been working forever, but it's nothing like I'm not excited about it. We also have up on top, we've got the Logitech C720. This is the cam this is the little camera. Is that the C720 or 720 the 920? Or the I'm sorry. What sorry, 920, right? Yeah, I, I believe mean, that's, that's the, 920. the C720. <laughs> this is the 920. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've been talking about this. I've been recommending this yeah. for years. We, we both use, have all of what we actually do a lot of our um, business meetings um, on like Skype or Google Hangouts, and we use that camera all the time for them. I'm thirsty, so I have my verve. Hey, you're stealing my verve, dude. You got a lot of nerve to drink a verve. No, this is mine. <laughs> this is bold. No. Yours no, is tea. I claimed it all. Oh, well, we're going to have a little fight after that, this is see over. See that actually turns out. We'll have a little fight. You better not be stealing my party. Look, yeah. let's keep this Sorry. rolling. <laughs> let's keep it oh, rolling. Dave. We've got a Dropcam HD sitting up here. This is the John P. Cam now. If you guys are watching the live <laughs> stuff, I, I haven't well, made it public yet, but I'm going to make it public. Well, that's, it's a better position over there on the cuff speakers we're, because before it was like shooting it was straight down up here, into like your face. Up my nostrils. We're, we're taking yeah. internet TV to a new level of boredom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. If you watch... Watch John P. work. If you go to the geekbeat.tv forward slash drop cam and you just sit there and watch me on that all day, <laughs> wow. I am sorry. <laughs> Okay, moving along. We've got your MacBook Air over there. We do have the MacBook Air, and the MacBook Air is on a landing zone two. These things are awesome. I actually did a review on the previous version. Watch. On the, the Back landing up a little. zone. Okay, I didn't, I, I, I don't think I did a video on this. You I, have not I on just, this particular one, Okay, but come I did over here, before. Dave. Check this out. I want to show you guys how freaking awesome this is. Here is, <laughs> here is my daily routine. It's the end of the day. I'm ready to pack up and go home. Watch this. Close, whip that thing open, take <laughs> this, and go. Now, in the morning, everything turns off, okay? The, the, the speakers All were your, connected. Yep. The Logitech camera was connected. The, the, the monitor's connected. The Ethernet is connected. Everything was connected. Now it's all off. Now, I come in in the day. Here we go. I set it down. Slide it back. I do that. I open, open the up, lid. And everything else is connected. And bam, it's here it comes. It's basically a hub, Look, but there you it go. just is kind of easy breezy in and out. 179. If you have a MacBook Air and you don't have one of those, you are <laughs> freaking missing out. All okay. right. And then, what, are you watching? Oops, is that, I just is that turned what it I off. think it is? You, you keep doing that on that oh. computer. Oh. <laughs> I, I, when I move it, I push the power button accidentally. I, tur I put it in sleep mode. Was that what I think it was? That, yeah, Lost uh, Girl. TV show. Lost Girl. I Lost love that Girl. show. I love that show. It's on Netflix. I'm watching Netflix right now, by Have the way. Have you guys seen that? That is a really cool show. It's about a, um, what do they succubus. call her? A succubus. A succubus. It's like this whole other world. She's hot. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> you uh, guys can watch it at Netflix.com. That's true. Slash Geek Beat. Go to netflix.com slash geeky and you get, what do they get? Uh, a free 30-day free trial. A month for free. If you don't have Netflix, seriously, you got to get on it. Last night, I just watched Boondock Saints for the first time. It's an old classic. It's from 1999. The freaking movie was awesome. Classic? Yeah. It's a classic? Classic from 1999. Well, it's, believe it or not, that's 15 years old now. Oh, my God. I'm old. That was like before they were, they didn't have cell phones back then, okay? They barely were, like, chiseling things on tablets in 1999, okay? <laughs> All right, so go check out Lost Girl. Let us know what you think or what you're watching on Netflix.com slash GeekBeat. And notice I'm watching it on that this is true. Acer R7, which is the convertible laptop kind of... Look how you awesome... You guys remember this. We unboxed it. And the interesting thing about this is that it has the trackpad in the back. It does. It has it back there. So when you're normally using it as a laptop, you just kind of, you know, do this, okay? And then you type and you do this. But um, what I really like, especially when it's sitting on a desk like this, is I can move this way forward and get the screen closer to me, which you can't do with a normal laptop. I get that closer, and I use my $10 mouse here, 
and Bingo Bango, it's, it's just much, much better. And also, this has, you can buy this little Acer pin. I don't know, it's $29 or $49, something like that. And although it's a touch screen, um, I'll have to show you some drawings later He's on. He's just not going to type in his password for you guys, apparently. That's right, I'm not. So um, <laughs> It's one, two, three, isn't it? It's, it's got a really nice, fine drawing capability. So you can make notes. You can, you can lay this thing flat like this, and you can use it like it was a notepad, okay? But you could also use it for drawing and sketching and doing art, which is what I've been doing with it. And I really love it. And you can pick one of these up for like just over 700 bucks. Nice. I think it's like seven, let's call it 750 plus or minus 25 bucks. It's a it's great. A, it's a nice device. And it ha the battery lasts a long time and it's really fast. And are you using the V motors there? They are. Those are the, those are my stealth V motors. I like I like the stealth. Although mine, my previous version, the V motor, uh, which version is that? Uh, I forget what the name of these the are. The previous version has my uh, logo on it. Yeah, it does. But you can can you print the logo on yeah, these too? We can get the logo. At, we could get our Geek Beat logo itched into these. Stealth. I call them I call them my stealth ones because they're all <laughs> black and there's nothing. There's nothing on them. That's but, awesome. Um, yeah, we'll have, by the way, all the links in the show notes to everything oh, yeah. here. Just geekbeat.tv uh, slash, what episode is this? 781. Nice. 781, there you go. And then another mouse, $10 I mouse. see that you like that mouse a lot. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, I know you've been liking this. That's my Pebble Watch. It's been over here charging. And uh, the Pebble Watch, if you don't have one yet, they're 149 bucks. The cool thing about the Pebble Watch is... Uh, it actually gets you to read your texts. It does. I read my texts. <laughs> That's amazing. I do. I've been thoroughly impressed. When I wear it on my, when I wear it on my wrist, it, every time I get a uh, text, it vibrates, and I can just glance down at it and read them. And so um, it's say cool. Ignore. Yeah. yeah, well, he did actually say, uh, I can I can look down, <laughs> he was explaining it to somebody else, I can look to see that I can ignore this one. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, there's also the Martian watch yes. here, the Victory. Now, this one's a little more expensive, okay? The Victory, as compared to the Pebble, it's much better looking watch. It's a classic, kind of classy watch with an analog face. And but for a guy who loves watches, that's important. It is, it is. Let's face it, style matters. Um, but down here, and I, I need to charge it up at the moment, but there's a little line down here. And when the texts and things, calls and stuff come in, it shows them on that little line. Now, here's what's also cool about this watch is that you see down here, that is a speaker in there, and there's a microphone here. So, so you can a actually talk to people Dick through Tracy your style. phone. The, you I mean, through a, your watch. I see. So the thing is, you know, I got my phone here, but this is always in some kind of pocket, right? You can never get to your phone when you want to. So what happens is this thing on your wrist starts vibrating. You look down, you're like, oh, it's Cali. Oh, I'll ignore that. It's Cali. I'll just ignore that one. <laughs> and then you look down, you're like, oh, it's Dave Curley. What a handsome, amazing genius of a man. <laughs> I'll answer that one. And you hit the button, you're like, hey, Dave, what's going on? And he just talks to you because it's a speakerphone. That's pretty cool. I can see that being useful in the car. Yeah, yeah, it you would be useful to, in the uh... car. Because you're driving and it's just talking and... This Sphero. is my favorite. I love this thing, the Sphero, the robotic ball. You guys have probably seen this around. They have the new 2.0 version, and uh, we we uh, we that interviewed thing is them fast. at uh, CE Week. Unfortunately, you stole that interview from me. Yeah. Just saying. But uh, I actually took this to uh, Christmas with my nieces and nephews. They loved it. They kept asking to play with the ball. <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. You control it with your Android or iPhone, and you basically play video games on it yeah. with that. It's 129 uh -huh. And I don't know if you realize this, but you have to play the video game. You have to play the, the, little, the little things to unlock stuff. Yeah. So when you first take it out of the box, it's quick. But you have to practice with it right. to be able to control it. And the more you play with it, the more it unlocks additional speed and turbo boost yep. functionality. So like after you've played with it a few hours, it's much faster than when you first unbox it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. impressive. And then, and then we then have the Sydney. You guys have, uh, Sydney. I did a, a roundup of docs before, um, and they were all iPad or I, you know, iPhone, iPad. 
and then you guys asked for an Android version, and this will do whatever you want yeah. it to, which is really cool. It gives you four 2.1 amp charging ports, which you can kind of see back here. And so you just plug your stuff in and you can slot them in here. Um, and usually I would actually have my iPad mini sitting up here and just plug that little bad boy in there. Uh, but right now I'm carrying my iPad mini. This is the last thing I guess one? we can show off. This is the hard, yeah, I know this is brand new. It's the hard candy, uh, what's the name? Shock, shock drop, shock something. Nice. We'll have it in the show notes. It's 49 bucks, but seriously, <laughs> like y y y it's- Don't break that tablet. It's really quite ruggedized. Nice. You know, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> thanks Dave. And uh, I feel really safe with it on there. Um, even so, with me holding it. Even with you holding it. Well, maybe not that oh. safe. Anyway, <laughs> can I get back to work yes, now? Yes, all right. You Bloomberg. go back to work. You guys go check out um, all of these products at geekbeat.tv slash, what did we say? I have such a short 781. memory. 781. 781. All right, you guys go check him out. Twitter.com slash John Pose or Google plus, Google.com slash plus John P. She's Twitter.com forward slash Callie Lewis and Google plus dot com. Google dot com forward slash today. plus Callie Lewis. Whatever. Bye. 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 <laughs>